A Cleveland-based artist is honoring a fallen Cleveland police officer, Jameson Ritter, the best way he knows how. News 5 reporter Maya Lockett first told you about how street art brought the officer and artist together last week. And tonight, Maya is following through to see how that artist is paying tribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morris Grayson is a local artist who specializes in graffiti. A lot of people don't know what graffiti is. You can see his art legally painted on buildings around Cleveland. People think that it's just, like, gang related. A few months ago, a business on Euclid asked him to use his talent on a wall filled with other creative paintings. Once the artists were finished, they were stopped by police. And thought we were doing it illegally. One of the officers was Jamison Ritter. When they once approached us and saw that we were actually doing a good thing, we end up becoming uh, one with each other and he wanted to know more about the whole culture. That conversation would be the beginning of a new friendship. They eventually came to an art show a few days later and as I was leaving, they were coming. And I took him inside of the art show, showed him around. And Grayson said it sparked an idea. We came up with this um, idea to help the children and you know, young adults in the neighborhood uh, becoming aware of outlets as of art. But their plans would never come to fruition. Officer Ritter was shot to death in the line of duty on the 4th of July. It was, it was one of the people that I could count on. In the community, Ritter was known as a hero, wanting to do more to keep Cleveland neighborhoods safe. He was a beautiful soul. You spray painted these two pieces. Oh yeah, I did. Talk uh, to me about them. Yeah, I did this canvas. This is a, a one of the canvases from the inside without the outside. And this shows uh, that Blue Lives Matter with the black and the blue and the white for, you know, the doves that was let off for uh, Officer Ritter, along with uh, this. Another local artist, Ron Moore, also painted a portrait of Ritter, sending it to his parents in New York. This guy, his entire life, has been serving people making the world a better place. And that's one of the things that Grayson liked about Ritter, who also served in the Army National Guard, reminding Grayson of his own father who served in the Army and passed away when Grayson was 18 years old. I could have asked him the questions I wanted to ask my dad, but no, I can't ask either one of them. Grayson says he still plans to work with Cleveland police in the city to provide an art-focused mentor program for kids to keep Ritter's ideas in name alive through art. Maya Lockett, News 5. That's so great. You know, we so often hear about officers building those bridges in their communities. And as we've heard from so many people, Officer Ritter lived that every day and worked so hard to build those connections. And there it is. Love to talk to people. Everyone say, love to have yeah. a conversation. As his partner said, in the district, he was known as a cool dude, cool guy. Certainly.